So hi guys, I'm here at the Bigman Hotel in Manhattan because I have a work-related event. So I'm staying at the hotel tonight and I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour and show you what it looks like. So I'm currently in the bathroom. Um, I was supposed to be staying in a queen's uh, bedroom, uh, a queen's, um, but they upgraded me to a king size bedroom. So. Anyway, so this is the bathroom. I don't know if you can see the shower. And let's see what goodies they have. Bow makers, that's the person. The shower, there's the tub. And this is me. Hi guys. And then you can see it's quite spacious. Toilet and cup. So this is what we're working with. And I'm gonna step outside and show you guys what it looks like um, when I first come into the room. I'm wearing this old dress from Zara. You guys can see. So anyway. Okay. So here's the entrance into the room. There's a mirror right here. So, as you can see the mirror. It's a nice mirror, it's a full length mirror. As you can see what I'm wearing. And we have the door right here. Just gonna do that door. And again, the mirror. And then we have this huge, big closet. So, I just stepped into the bathroom so you guys can see it. All right. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so this is mine. And then you have the robes, and that's for sale, I guess. And they have a safe, so that's good. And a place for your shoes. So that's nice and spacious. I'm only here for one night, guys. And this is the mini bar which we're going to stay away from because you can see how expensive you know, how expensive those tend to be so there we go and let's take a look at the list the list the list it's kind of blurry it's my camera dirty or something but anyway and they also have so this is a eye mask, and I notice that they also have a candle, the big mini candle. It smells oh, very like a musky scent. I'm very masculine. I don't like it. And here's a refrigerator. Also some other additional goodies. And you guys, I'm gonna, I had dinner downstairs and I actually didn't finish the salad. It was so good. I decided to take it to go, but I'm not gonna eat that right now. But here's what you guys have in the mini fridge. I did bring a little, um, okay, so. Like I mentioned, that's the TV right there. I turned on all the lamps because you guys know that the lights are not the brightest. And this is the bed. It's a king size bed. And that's my ballet bag right here. I should probably do what's in my bag. And that's my little suitcase. I also brought a bottle of water with me. So yes, guys, it's a nice size room. And that's the door. So that's it. It's dark outside. I'm gonna try and show you. You guys can't really see anything. And it's pretty much the room without a view. Even though I got bumped up from the king's uh, bed to 
to a, from a queen to a king bed, but no view. I'm gonna go downstairs to the bar room at the Beekman, and they have a restaurant downstairs called Temple Court. So I'm gonna go there and grab something before they close. So come with me. I mean, how gorgeous is this place? So we're going all the way down there. So I think my elevator is here. For starters, I had the baby kale and avocado salad. It was very good. Um, the portion size was very generous, good for two people. I enjoyed it. So, my lobster fettuccine looks really yum. Dinner. And I actually wasn't plan planning to stay at this hotel. It was sort of like a last minute change because the hotel that I was going to stay at was actually, um, they told me that they did not have any room service and they did not have any restaurant. And the part of town where I was going to for work, kind of, it would make things a little bit difficult because I don't have a car. So I decided that I would stay in Manhattan instead and travel. So I chose to stay in this hotel. I figured, let me check it out. I've heard of the big man. I used to work somewhere close to this area before. So that's what I decided to do. Well, hey guys, that's it. Um, I'm gonna unpack right now. So I was figuring, I figured I should just turn on the, the camera and make a vlog out of it. It's quite late right now. Everything is dark, it's like outside. And I'm gonna get ready for bed. But I figured I should show you this valley bed that I love. It's soft and over time. Um, I like the color. I think it's a great color for summer. Here, let me show you guys. 
Can you see it? It's really good. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So, I'm going to see. Okay. This. I usually take, I take this in the morning. So, I wanted to bring it with me. So, I take this in the morning. I wanted to bring it with me. I take this with the daily cleanse. And it just helps me with my. It helps me to be like a little bit. I take this a little And when I first started taking this too, one of them has a ginger thing to it because I, I can smell it now. But when I first started taking it, I couldn't smell it. But then I have my Ginger Tonic. Ginger Tonic. Ginger Tonic. Lotion P1570 from um, Biologic. I've been using this for a while now. And I run out of my Le U, so I have the Le VIP02. But when I purchased the Biologic, I'm gonna link that video. My first time trying it, the lady told me to buy the Le U, and the Le U is the same size as this bottle, and a lot cheaper. And I see why she said that, because honestly, the Le U is fine. You don't need to pay the extra for this one. But, okay. So each is on. And this is my Vivant mask. So I figured I'll use it tonight I'm going to bed. So that's why I brought all that. I also have my Clarisonic. I haven't been using this religiously, but I figured, you know, tonight I can just sort of use this on my face. Then I usually like to bring, I like to bring this with me. Like I use this when I cleanse my face. I have makeup on right now, so I'm going to take it all off. And what else? Oh, this is too low, but hopefully you guys see me. Guys, I'm sitting on the bathtub. So I've been using the CE Fabric because when I was, when I had my facial at the Rescue Spa in New York City, the esthetician recommended, told me that I should be using vitamin C every day. And guys, I have to say that it's worked wonders for me using the vitamin C. Um, it's really helped clear up the discoloration. Um, it's not all faded, but I noticed the visible difference. So the first person that talked about the CE Fairway um, thing was my sister-in-law years ago. She mentioned this to me, but I have to say, I don't think I used it, really used it diligently back then. But I guys, I'm out of this bottle and it's worked wonders. So I'm very happy with it. I still have a little bit of discoloration on my cheeks. And so I reached out to Skin Circles. I had a chat with them and they recommended using the discoloration defense in addition to this. So I'm gonna try that and see how it works. But and then I also did some research I, while I was looking online at um, the a dermatologist, I can't remember her name, but she has a YouTube channel. She was talking about the fact that it's actually better if you get the small batches of the C for it, as opposed to the big bottle. But honestly, the big bottle does, did work for me. It worked really well. And I've heard a lot of dermatologists say that this is sort of overpriced. Maybe it is, but it worked really well for me. So if you guys have used any other vitamin C that you know that works as well as this one, please comment below and let me know. And then I have some of the Augustine Beta, which is very expensive. There are loads of review on YouTube. Um, I don't use this every day. I rarely use it. I only use it if I feel like my skin is super sensitive and needs extra loving care, then I'll use a little bit of this. It can be one of my beauty um, boxes. So that's one of the reasons why I have this. I don't know that I would spend that kind of money on, on it, but I've heard great reviews about it. So I did use it. There was a time when my skin felt, I was using the retin-A and it felt super sensitive. Then I used this. So, but I know that's not how you're supposed to use it. Um, what else? The other thing with this 
I use this too every day. So I use the vitamin C religiously every day. I've noticed a difference. And then I put on the my sunscreen. When I put this on, my skin is white. But what I do is after I put it on, I leave it for a little bit. It's still white. Then I go ahead and use my MAC powder and I put it over it. But I use it religiously regardless. So because I, I walk a lot. Um, and it's summer, so I use this diligently, especially after using the vitamin C. Um, what else? Uh, I have my spare vitamins, the beta fan that I talked about. I have this eye cream that I haven't been using religiously, but it came in one of those beauty boxes. So that's why I have that one. I love this one, um, this quarterly. I got this as, I think I got it as a gift or something from Sephora, maybe one of their points. But I really like this mask, it's very soothing. Um, you know, they're my powder for my face. That's what I have on right now. So I travel with that, eye drops. And more of this my skin and then my um what do you call it? I don't know what this is. I forgot the name. You use it on your face too. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So guys, my goal was to make sure that I get a little a mini vlog out of that. And in here, I put a little bit of vitamin C because I'm out of that one. It's a vitamin C booster by 111 Skin. So that came in a beauty box. And since I'm running out of the C for work, I wanted to make sure I had something to use for tomorrow. So that's what I'm using. And that's what I pack in my bag when I'm traveling. Um, if I'm staying in a hotel, I like to kind of do a little bit of self care. Make sure I have enough stuff in my face, on my path, blah, 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 all the wonderful things that we ladies like to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I was, I hope you guys can hear me. I hope my voice was not too low because it's late. And I'm staying in a hotel, so I'm trying not to be super loud. Okay guys, my phone died, but I just took that opportunity opportunity to join this my channel is but if you guys have watched so far thank you so much for watching and click the subscribe button leave me a comment and thank you for watching we have 100 subscribers which i'm very very happy about so yeah guys thanks for watching